Hello, people of the internet. It's Jan Beta. And yeah, look what I found in the trash today, standing on the side of the street. Um, yeah, it's basically an old overhead projector. So yeah, what I did is to take some measurements. I measured if there were any shorts and yeah, even the, the fuse in this thing was intact. You can basically open this up by just opening it up here. That's a little button. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, here's the lamp and it's basically, it's a good projector where you can just switch the lamps with a little pulley here and one lamp is broken and the other one that was in here is intact and yeah I measured the resistances of the here of the transformer and measured the little um, fan it's basically a fan on this side here and it all seemed all right the only thing that was wrong with this um, as I found it was that the power cord was snipped off so yeah that's usually at least in Germany it's usually a sign for this thing is broken but yeah let me show you so here's where the power cord was cut off right at the at the device itself um, and I, I don't recommend you do this but I fixed something yeah, I fixed a new power cord with uh, some preliminary clamps here. So, just to check this out. I'm turning on the power now. Yeah, and as you can see... This works a treat. The only thing that was broken with this is the power cord. And I'm sure I can fix that by just uh, attaching the power cord I attached to that inside the, the enclosure so it will be safe again. Yeah, and that's about it. Then I have a working um, overhead projector for free, basically. And this is quite um, bright, let me tell you. I have all the lights on and you can still clearly see the projection. So yeah, let's try and make some uh, kind of projector out of this, I guess. Some kind of video beamer maybe. So I have this Philips um, 170S VGA monitor. Um, that I got for free basically and I'm gonna try and take this apart and make this into a VGA beamer basically um, in conjunction with the overhead projector I got for free also so let's see if we can take this apart and use it as a projector oh this seems to be Looked in here. So let's see if we can get off the back. Do you guys remember Alf? Here he is again. <laughs> so let's. Let him hold the monitor. So let's see, I think it's just clipped on here. Could maybe. Yeah, I guess I'll put it on this side. And it should just lift off. Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh -huh. So that's basically what's inside these things, I guess. Um, Here's the little power supply board, yeah, and this is the little VGA board that 
Yeah, we have to move that to the side, I guess. Maybe this strip here is long enough. Let's see if we can take it apart even further, I guess. So I think I can take this whole assembly off, I guess, by unscrewing these on the sides here. So these are the connections to the to the backlight, I guess. Okay. Move this all together. This is screwed on here. I hope we can move this. Connector. Yeah, this is just a stick tape. Sticky tape, so we can put this out. And we can take this off basically. And yeah. Let's see if we can take this apart. So nicely taped together here on the sides. So I hope. Take off the, the whole thing here. The backlight has to go away. We only need the screen in itself. So here's the, the little board that drive to, drives to the screen, I guess. Let's take off these screws here. Oops. Another layer of sticky tape on here. So let's remove that in order to whoa, get these connectors out. I guess. It's like a little marking here. And maybe a little blue marking here. So we don't lose uh, the connections there. This is all, all stick tape. It should fold over. And it's connected. This is the, the driver board for the screen, I guess. And this thing here should come apart as well. Where's my knife? I need my knife. Yeah, that's definitely not my knife. So I can just remove this here. Wow, this is really... I just cut this, I guess, without cutting the board. So this bends to the side. That's the connections for the, the other way around here. So maybe... So make sure I don't cut any of the flat, flat flex wires coming out there. Just gonna cut this. So yeah, let's see if we can get it apart. There we go. Just using some fingernails force there. So we have to fold this aside. This. And yeah, I guess this whole thing here is the backlight. That's the backlight. And this is the screen. The old. So we can take this out of the metal case, I guess. Still glued on on the side here. So well, this is the screen. This has to go on here, I guess. Just press this 
down. So we lose a bit of screen there. Yeah, I've um, assembled this and put it on the projector basically. So as you can see, it's all um, open there and I don't recommend doing that. As you can see, I have the screen here and it's shining through the projector, which works quite nicely. But the screen is much too large for the for the projector, so we have to um, make the picture smaller. And also, it's on the wrong side, so we have to get these um, cables on the other side, maybe. So, yeah, what we're gonna do is to rearrange this whole thing, and also we have the the power. Uh, there's basically. Um, this is right powered by the grid not right now for testing purposes. So yeah, it's I don't recommend the, that. But otherwise, the project the projection, as you can see, works. And maybe I'll try with a little picture. So I have this whole setup connected to my computer now. So let's see. And I also dimmed the lights a bit. As you can see, there's quite a lot of light coming out the side here, but yeah, we're gonna fix that in the future, I guess. So let's see how the projection looks. And as you can see, it's the, just the usual wall there. And yeah, it's not really centered at all and stuff like that. So let's turn on the computer and see how it looks. There's a picture at all. Yeah, and as you can see, this works quite well, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not perfectly adjusted and stuff like that, but yeah, this looks nice, I guess. So it's a bit loud, the projector thingy, but it's totally usable, I guess. So if we, if we adjust the, the size of the picture a bit, can watch TV on that, I guess. That's nice. Hello, people of the internet. It's Jan Beta again. This time with a piece of equipment that's at least a bit more vintage audio related again. Um, sorry, I had to do all these other videos, but yeah, this channel is not restricted to vintage audio stuff, so I thought um, I'd give it a try. But first I want to so yeah, um, this works uh, really, this unit, really well, I guess. The only problem is that the screen gets rather hot. Feels like at least 50 degrees, I guess. So we'll have to put some fans there, I guess. But otherwise, yeah, this seems to be quite a nice thing. We're losing a bit of the screen size here and on the other side as well and yeah, on the top we're losing some but if you have a widescreen picture it's not it doesn't matter that much because you only lose um, a few millimeters here <laughs> it's a bit funny that my hand is there and this is my real hand the black one so yeah but the quality of this is nice. So as of now you can see that the whole power transformer area is um, sitting next to the projector. Um, yeah, it's open so it's not safe at all. I will try and um, get this into some kind of enclosure. Also I'm gonna try to make 
um, these cables that are behind the screen. Maybe I'll fix them to the screen or something like that. I don't know yet. So that it's uh, flatter. Yeah, as you can see, I now have the power section um, of the VGA monitor sitting on my bench here and I'm gonna um, get rid of this frame thing and see if I can cut some wires that we don't need anymore in order to save some energy on this, I guess. And then I'm gonna find out if I can put this into some kind of uh, more safe uh, enclosure. So, yeah, it's basically not very safe to use like this because the mains power is just everywhere here. So I think I'm gonna use uh, this broken uh, kitchen uh, kind of Tupperware or what, I don't know the correct term, this plastic box. I'm gonna use this and fit this inside here I guess and yeah make some some holes to fit the cables through and make a hole here to fit the whole thing there. So yeah not a perfect solution, but most likely it's a whole lot uh, safer than to uh, use this without the case. And I can put the other thing on top here, I guess. I'll just fix it a bit with electrical tape, I guess. So what I'm gonna do now is to remove this uh, preliminary thing I attached here to power this. Um, and attach the cable I put on there inside the device so that it's uh, so that there's no uh, exposed contacts on the outside and it's uh, hopefully much safer than uh, like this. I also have to um, put the screw here. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Can just take this off. There's a kind of a strain relief there. So I basically should be able to just pull this out. Yeah, there we go. That's the cable. So there we are on the inside. That should do it. So, put this through here and attach this again. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So, let's reattach the cover. Oh, and the cover even has a little. Um, insulating tape here so nothing goes wrong there so yeah that's about it I guess so here's the cable it's a bit short but it's gonna work it's, it's quite dirty but yeah it it was free so I'm not complaining at all So that worked, that seems to be safe, yeah. So now here's what I come, came up with, I uh, made the little box 
and I put the the little um, VGA board. Let's just call it VGA board. It's the the thing that drives the the monitor. Um, I got all the the high voltage stuff um, hidden in here, and it, I guess it's reasonably safe. It won't uh, fulfill any compliances or stuff like that. But for me, it is yeah. For experimenting with this, this is um, an okay level of safety. If you are doing something like this, I'm not responsible for anything that you do. I'm. Yeah, I'm only responsible for what I do, and uh, I know a bit about uh, high voltages and stuff like that, and I'm, yeah, I'm careful, and, yeah. So, badly, what I want to say is, um, do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for your, your actions, even if I show you stuff that is not secure. I'm not an electrician, I'm nothing near that, I'm just a... Uh, a hobbyist who's trying out stuff and I do it the quick and dirty way most of the time. So this is totally unsafe. Don't do it. Never ever do it. I do it so you don't have to do it. Um, but it's really fun though. <laughs> so there's actually um, a small chance that this whole thing still works. So yeah, let's just uh, try. So why don't we just turn on the projector? There, it still works as well. Yeah, nice. Through the magic of video making, uh, this is apparently the next day, I uh, watched some Star Wars uh, yesterday on this, and it works quite well. Uh, another problem I encountered is if you let this running for some time, um, the surface gets really, really hot. And I, yeah, it's not that nice for the screen I guess so I took a little PC fan and just stood it on the side here and that was enough to blow away most of the the heat from the screen so that was quite enough to um, fix that problem so you need some kind of airflow on top of the, the screen I guess that's what I wanted to point out here. Yeah, this is not perfect. We have to build some kind of frame for this, I guess. Uh, didn't come up with a proper solution for that as of yet. My solution would just be to um, tape it down on the projector to uh, yeah, make the, the gaps here, close the gaps here, so that no light shines through anywhere. Yeah, so this still works. That's nice. Let's just find out how the picture quality looks and stuff like that, I guess. This seems to be in a reasonable shape now, so that, that we can experiment with it. So here's um, a YouTube video from my good friend Turamba, um, who just recently started playing uh, Civilization V. And yeah, he's basically he's a gamer. and. Uh, plays games on his YouTube channel and I highly recommend uh, you watch him it's really yeah, he's a quite ni quite a nice guy <laughs> I'll link him in somewhere um, yeah but this is just um, I used this as an example and yeah on the camera it looks it doesn't look that bright but it's quite a nice picture actually it looks nice totally usable picture um, we get here the picture looks a bit uh, trapezoid, I guess, but otherwise it's really sharp, the colors are nice. You have to really dim the light to see this because um, the projector doesn't shine that bright through the monitor. But it's totally usable as a uh, film projector, I guess, for a computer screen. And it has a quite a crisp picture. Yeah, nice. So that's basically it from a technical standpoint there's still a lot to uh, make better about this it would be much better to have a smaller screen on there so that more of the actual um, so that more of the actual screen size um, can be projected so I guess um, it's a 17 inch screen I got so 
mm, a 15 inch screen would be a bit better and yeah, a smaller screen with a higher resolution would be ideal I guess, maybe a 13 inch uh, screen or something like that. Mm, yeah, but otherwise I'm quite satisfied with, with this, um, it works quite well. Um, now that I've fastened some screws, even the, the fan of the projector is not that loud. Um, I need to fix the fan here on the side so that the, the screen won't get that warm. And yeah, maybe get another screen where the all the cable stuff is, isn't in the way. Um, it's here, it gets in the picture because it has to go behind the screen. On other screens you could just um, flap it over to the side so that it doesn't get in the way of the picture. That would be much nicer, but you never know before you um, take apart a monitor, I guess. So, yeah, maybe I'll buy another smaller monitor in the future. For now, um, yeah, this is what it is and it works quite well. I watched uh, some movies and, yeah, I really like it. So, yeah, maybe this helps if you want to build something like this yourself. Um, these projectors are basically, yeah, most people are throwing them out because um, more modern devices are, uh, yeah, this is not state of the art anymore, I guess. So, there are better devices or more modern devices, but you basically... Sometimes you get these for free, I guess, from schools and universities and stuff, because they just throw them out. Um, yeah, so get one of these. There's uh, nice lenses to salvage, at least if they are broken. And yeah, some nice stuff in there, optically. And you could also build something like this. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, um, there will be a little button. Oh, you can't, can barely see my finger, can you? There will be a button here, I guess, in the corner. And if you want to donate money, there will be another button in the other corner. And if you want to donate with PayPal, which you can't link in to the uh, video description, you can go to my channel page and just click on the little PayPal link there. Uh, yeah, anything is greatly appreciated. Give it a thumbs up, like this, and yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm Jan Beta. See you next time.